I've got Blake Shelton with me, and in New York via Skype is Cynthia Nixon. Woo! Um, Blake, is it fair to say that you shared a drink or maybe 13 with like everyone in country music? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> well, there's one drink Blake may have skipped. I was talking with Little Big Town the other day, and they had this to say. Jimmy, wine, beer, whiskey, Thomas Rhett, University of Alabama football coach, Nick Saban. <laughs> And what the hell? We'll just keep Shelton because he's a he's people like him here. And I would say wine with Blake because that would be the least obvious choice. And I think it would be hilarious trying to have a refined wine <laughs> conversation. <laughs> That's awesome. The paradox would be fun. I love that. I realized they were right. So I need to drink wine with Blake, which brings us here. Uh, joining us now is the founder of Psalm Select and one of 300 master sommeliers in the world. Please welcome Ian Cobble. What's up, Ian? What's going on, everybody? Thanks for having me. Nice to see you again. So how much experience, Ian, do you have teaching beer, whiskey, and vodka drinking country boys about wine? Very little, actually, but I think Blake's a pro, and he's a great test subject, so okay. I think he'll be successful. Um, Blake and I have wine here, and Cynthia has the same wines in New York. Um, are you all set, Cynthia? I, I am. I definitely am. All oh. right. All right. Well, what will we be tasting, Ian? So today we're focused on Burgundy, my favorite region of the world, and this is pretty much Mecca for great Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. So mm. let's start with this first wine. So we have a Jean-Marc Pio Premier Cru coming from Chassagne Monarche, very famous village. This is kind of like a fairy tale for people who love wine. So let's go ahead and s smell the first wine. Okay. First and foremost, you can't let's, taste go it yet. The, let's go ahead and grab the nice glasses, by the way, Kelly. Yeah, wow. we are, uh, hey, I don't know if you know, but we won an Emmy, so we're upping our game. <laughs> Fancy. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and grab the, the, the wine by the stem. Okay. Can you we don't do want it? to get the no. wine warm with your hand. If you're at a party and you're holding the glass by the stem or by the bulb, you're basically going to warm your glass pretty quickly. Nice oh. work, Cynthia. Yeah, nice Blake change. is looking good. So let's go ahead yeah. and put This the, could have been a part of your evening wear. Yeah. You're not getting any if you hold your glass but like this at a party because people will you're know. You're not getting any? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's they like, will know. loser. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're going to want to put the base of the stem right here at the base of your nose here. Okay. Smell a little bit. What are you smelling, Blake? Wine. What do you mean? <laughs> are you smelling any white, any peaches? Are you smelling peaches? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it is fruit. kind of fruit, like right? Candy. Fruit. Mm -hmm. Can I taste it? Yeah, let's taste it. Okay. We'll taste about a half ounce, and then I want you to swirl it around your palate for about five or six seconds. And I expose all your taste buds to it. <laughs> Swallow it, I'm sorry. Swallow it. Breathe out your nose. You should be getting a lot of information going to your brain about Ooh, all the different fruits. It's like collecting powers. in my cheeks and the insides of my cheeks. It's nice. It's like a little party. Exactly. And you're getting, you're getting a lot of acidity and freshness and this minerality. Is anybody tasting a lot of this kind of mineral component? Almost like oyster shell, That's what shell, I was going to say. Yeah, mineral component. That's what I was going to... I was going to lead with that. It's weird that you did first, but I, I'll just let you talk about it. <laughs> so this, this region used to exist under a shallow ocean for about 200 million years. So all of the seashells decomposed, creating limestone. So what you're tasting on the palate is actually... 185 million years in the making, if that makes it taste any better. Dead snails. <laughs> what in the oh hell? Oh my gosh, that's actually awesome, that information. What? We can go back to bourbon if you want, Blake. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I like bourbon too. Um, no, I, all like, right. I like this. I like this too. This is it's actually nice. the first thing I've ever done on this show that's worth the crap. Is oh. <laughs> Oh drinking, God. drinking, oh finally. All right, Let, this next one is a Pinot Noir, and Ian, you know that's my favorite. I do know that. So this is coming from the next village just south. This is called Santanay, coming from 120-year-old vines. So you can imagine that these okay. grape vines have roots that are going down almost as far as a 10-story building. What does Ooh. everyone smell? I smell it. This is going to sound weird, but like leather. I don't know why. I don't... You know, I, I totally agree with you. It smells like it smells like leather. Like like aged oh, yeah. leather, like a really nice leather jacket that I so want to drink. Is known for having more earthy tones. And so you're getting it for me, you're getting this strawberry blossom, almost strawberry preserves, but there's a lot of secondary characters of like leather, 
mushroom, a little bit of like crushed rocks, accents of a little bit of baking spices and vanilla from yeah, the Yeah, crushed barrels. rocks. I was going to say that too, but you, I'll let you say it first though. That's cool. <laughs> That's my favorite. And this is a really young wine and this wine's truly going to reach its peak in about 10 to 15 years. So uh, I just want to give a shout out because I know that Christina in our audience, I noticed she had some wine. She's sipping wine with us today, y'all. Get it, Christina. Yes. Um, okay, well, let's try vodka because I wanted to try, let's yes. do your vodka. This is Blake's vodka. Everybody's got some. We've got them in little, tiny, little, cute, adorable, little <laughs> mini solo cups. Um, so let's smell it first. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> what notes do you get, Ian, from Blake's vodka? Oh, that's not, I thought y'all might have poured water in there. No. That's real. I am authentic, bro. Am like, We're good. drinking the real deal. Okay, wait, let's You know taste. what, I'll, I'll say this. The, the best vodkas in the world don't have much aroma. The greatest vodkas are very clean. And oh, I was actually clean. sipping on this before the show and it's really good. It's very elegant. There's uh -huh. not much. My man. <laughs> you know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> But it, it's no joke. This is really good. It's really smooth. And, uh, you know, good job. Okay, cheers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you a case of it, Cynthia. Woo! Please. I haven't had a yeah. shot in a while. Did she really do it? Yes. Oh, my God. Do you, still, do you have to film more of these today? It's just one shot. Mama's okay. fine. Um, <laughs> I smell... I, I smell hints of regret, 20s, and someone holding my hair. <laughs> That's what I'm tasting as well. Poor decisions. That's what I smell. That's what I taste. That's a great Congrats, um, Blake. A master sum has approved your vodka. That's, that's amazing. Thank amazing. you. Woo! Thank you, guys. Thank you.